Okay, so listen. We're playing Assemble with Care today. I've heard pretty good things about it. It came out a little while ago, and I'm just excited to, like, pull things apart and put things back together, personally, and maybe help some people. Anyway, let's get right into it. lovely. I really like the character's voice. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is That'd what I cool love job. to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. <laughs> Bella Viva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Oh, we have to unpack. <laughs> How many of you remember VCRs? Is that beyond your time? sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. <laughs> I think you're cool enough. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman <laughs> at your service. Cute. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. It's very much. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. <laughs> Film camera. So my parents cute. took this after I made my first repair. Oh. Huh. Seems like a lifetime ago. Maria's restorations. Is she gonna hand those out? Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Oh boy. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. Hmm. This is really cute so far. It's like a My visual novel. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I can understand that. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl, and a voice she was longing to hear. great concept. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, 
its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. Festival. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. <laughs> I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Cute. She seems sweet. It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. <laughs> I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Absolutely, I can try. Take this little screw out. Aha! Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, they? I, can't I have see some them. spares. Okay, here we go. In your pocket, or do you have your toolbox with you? kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. Hmm. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. Yeah, I'll accept it. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out the full receipt. <laughs> You gotta entertain them when they're that age. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Yeah. Part I wouldn't be able to fix. Oh. Wow. Is this game gonna put me in my feels? My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. I can imagine that repairing things all day would be pretty exhausting. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. Yeah, I mean, the way they're depicting it in this artwork here, it is beautiful. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Ah, uh, okay. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, 
I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Oh. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Yes, I can salvage it. Okay, that looks like the base. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Ooh. Oh, it starts gluing right away. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. All kids that age come with a warning label, sir. Let's put some glue there. Head. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Uh, I got the same question, dude. as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. Sweet. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. Mm. They must both miss her so much. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again. <sighs> I hope he's making time to spend with Isabel. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. That's hard. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he mm -hmm. wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Yeah, that's hard with parents who have these demanding jobs. Ooh, disconnected. A little phone. Are we going to get to fix it? I like that they show you a picture My of what you're going to get to fix. My second day in Bella Riva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Mm. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. <laughs> Bold of her. To just come outside yelling Maria at a stranger walking past. <laughs> Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. <laughs> it's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. <laughs> as Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. And it's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some um, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Doesn't sound like seasoning tips to me. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Sure, I'll take a look at it. Where did this come from? Where did I get this? Flip it over. 
Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Obviously. You don't have to tell me, Carmen. I believe in you. You can fix it, Ooh. can't you? I can't afford it's to broken. replace it. Okay, let's take out the screws. Is all hooked up. All hooked up, even though the mystery circuit board came from mystery places. I'm glad it's fixed. Put you there. Take a screw, put you back in. The screwing in mechanic is fun. It, you have to like move your mouse in the direction of tightening it, and that's really cool. <laughs> Instead of just like holding um, left click. You have to actually move with it. I really like that. That's cool. Nope. Let's turn you around here. Quick and easy. Good as new. Phone back Love to it. Carmen. She seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? <laughs> nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, oh. take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Girl, if you're already talking about how you might not be able to pay the rent and the suppliers, you probably shouldn't make my coffee on the house. <laughs> I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I didn't think it was. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? <laughs> when the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. My sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <laughs> oh, God. I have to get ready. <laughs> she doesn't sound super excited about it. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Sure. Do I get to repair the camera? That's gonna be cool. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Huh. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. Okay. <laughs> the woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. This is Carmen's I sister. Go to an expert, of course, but in this town. <laughs> so this was Carmen's okay. sister. The two of them couldn't have been more different. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Kind of snobby. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. I can try. Well, I see a screw to unscrew, so let's unscrew that screw. Another screw to unscrew. All right. 
Alrighty. Another screw to unscrew. Take the lens off here. I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. It was bold of you to assume. Okay, okay, okay. Woo, 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 woo. There we go. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the Ooh. angle of the mirror. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Okay, let's put you back on. Whoop. It's back on. Do I have to put film in it? I see a little film canister there. missing. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to put them in. Let's turn it around. And put the last screw in. Whoop. And then we'll put the lens back on here. Perfect. Nice and easy. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. <laughs> a disposable is always good, girl. Film, A+. Plus. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months' salary. But it was worth it. <laughs> Weird flex, okay. I had no idea what three months' salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Hmm, that's a good point. <laughs> she took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is... Immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. Good point. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. Mm. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. Weird of her to be confiding in, like, a total stranger like this. <laughs> that didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. Hurricane Helena. Funny. Okay, in the dark. The sun was setting over Bella Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. <laughs> Probably because her sister's coming. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one <laughs> speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, of course. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. Mm. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Oh, Carmen. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign mm. outside. This might explain the lack of customers. Yeah, it might. <laughs> I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. 
Can you give it a try? Sure. Cool. Circuits closed. Nice. Okay. And then this here. Oop. Nope. That's cool. Maybe if it flashes, it will really catch people's eye. <laughs> Maybe. Great I don't idea. Know if I would. I think I have a spare part that could do that. Where did I get this part? Okay. Glue. Whoop. All right. Nope. here. Put you back. Put, put you back. Turn it around. Hmm. Okay. It's not terrible. Hmm. I still need something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Ooh, cool. It's a cafe. I like this little, this one. Ooh. Hmm. I think I might go with the ice cream cone. I think it's cute. All right, let's turn this around. Glue. Sign fixed. We had it outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, I picked the ice cream cone like they had on it already in the picture. I love it. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. I'm sure you've done enough, Carmen. The smile froze on her face she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better oh. or worse, Helena had arrived. Don't give her such a hard time. She's already having a hard time. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. First thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Oh, we just put that up and she was so excited about it. That's so not fair. And with 
that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. Hmm. one of these cool it was the day before the festival and the whole town was busy getting ready i had more work than i knew what to do with when joseph called with another job i was craving the cool quiet of his and izzy's seafront house <laughs> i would too i barely reached their front door when i heard someone calling me Psst. maria i need your help quickly it's top secret <laughs> it was izzy peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. Cute, this is really sweet. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. <laughs> Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. <laughs> I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. <laughs> on the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Okay, let's can take a look at it. it. For me? Yeah, we can try. This is shattered. Girl! She definitely threw it at a wall. If she didn't throw it at a wall, I'll be so surprised. broken back there? Yeah, right. The screen's broken as well. Okay. Take that out. I like that it says Izzy down here and the little dinosaur. That's really cute. <laughs> okay. Those are sorted. reattach. They have numbers on them. Okay, so if this one goes here, should I put that as the music too? Okay, yeah, we've got a little green light here. So we'll put this one here with that. This one here with that. Okay, that should do it. I think I've fixed everything. back in. Oh, well, there's a game over here. Do I have to put that in too? Do grown-ups play games as well? Oops. Definitely. 100%. I'm playing one right now. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. <laughs> I don't even know how to play. Okay. Pictures. You take pictures of the animals. Cute. Games console complete. 
I liked that one. That one was good. Her toy fixed, I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Oh. <laughs> Why would he think that? Because, uh, <laughs> well, I kind of dropped it really hard at the wall. Threw it against the wall, what'd I say? <laughs> Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. Said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Aww. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. Wow, this game is so much deeper than I thought it was going to be. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? Oh, we're getting a little bit more of Maria's story. I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. Huh. really enjoying this game so far. We're halfway through, so I think I'm going to leave this one here. But the artwork is lovely, the storytelling is lovely, and the characters are actually super relatable, which is really cool. I didn't expect the story to go this way or for it to like captivate me as much as it has been. I'm excited to see how this all unfolds and how Carmen's sister plays into it and if the mayor finds time for Izzy properly or sees the value of that relationship. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and tickle the like button for me. And if you don't want to miss out on all the cool stuff we're doing over on this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Maybe even click the bell. I don't know. Life gets busy. Notifications help sometimes. Anyway, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.